ओके सो इन प्रीवियस सेशन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड द रोल ऑफ और यूज ऑफ फॉक सिस्टम कॉल गेट पी आई डी एंड गेट पी पी आई डी सिस्टम कॉल सो वेन वी यूज फॉक सिस्टम कॉल इट क्रिएट्स अ चाइल्ड प्रोसेस सो एन ऑलरेडी रनिंग प्रोसेस विच वी कंसिडर पेरेंट प्रोसेस कॉल्स अ फंक्शन लाइक फॉक and that function creates a new process so previously executing process that is parent process it will be already executing another process will also start executing with same code so that is the idea of fox but there are certain challenges let's say when a child process creates inside the system child is having a parent id of the parent process now we want that in usual case for every child there has to be a parent because when a child terminates it try to return its exit status to its parent if parent does not exist and if child is executing such kind of processes in the system we consider like orphan processes so like in real world also if a person doesn't have parent we consider that person is orphan similarly in os or operating system also if a process is executing but its parent has been terminated the process considered as orphan process so we want to avoid the situation so that in the system there should be less number or no orphan process so to avoid orphan processes what we can do is inside the code of parent process we can use wait system call or wait pid system call wait system call suspend the parent process for the duration till the child is executing once the child will execute or finish its execution it returns the exit status to the parent and then parent can terminate so let's look at the code so i have already written the code it is an easy code you can easily understand let's say so i have included these header files how i got to know that i check the manual of the functions which i am using in this and accordingly i have included right so because i am using fork and fork returns pid underscore t type variable so i have just declared a variable name like pid with this type i want to store the exit status of my child process and exit exit status is an integer so i have taken this integer then i am storing the return value of fork and pid and i am comparing this pid if it is minus 1 that means there is an error so a message i have printed failed to fork process that means new child has not been created there is a failure and we exit this particular thing else we compare pid with zero so you already aware about if pid is zero that means it is a child process now if it is a child we are printing some messages inside this child like child process is running you can type any message here and let's say i'm applying sleep of 2 millisecond 2 second not millisecond sleep is also a function here i am passing 2 that means i want to make this process in sleeping state for 2 second okay so this child will go and sleep for 2 second and after 2 second it will print this particular line child process exiting okay and then exit but as i have already told you when we fork a new child the parent and child they execute concurrently or you can say parallelly if you are having parallel architectural support so there is no ordering any process can terminate early any process can terminate after we want that parent should not terminate early if parent terminates early your child process become orphan process okay so we apply wait 
where we need to apply weight system call or weight PID, we apply the weight inside the parent process code. So in else, because we have already checked return value is for minus one or zero. Now else is that means if the return value of PID is not minus one, not zero, then it is greater than zero and that will be the equal to the uh, process ID of child. So in this code, in else part, I have called here weight. Now if you check the manual of weight, you check here, there is an integer pointer. So because weight requires an integer pointer here, I have passed the address of an integer. A status is, is an integer I have declared. Right? So this weight will store the exit status in terms of an integer of its child process. And then I am printing this particular return value of a status. Okay, so this integer I am printing. I will provide this code in uh, the description as a doc file, so don't worry. So let's execute it. Now first check the manual of weight. So if you want to apply weight system call, you need to pass an integer pointer. I have declared an integer like a status, so I am passing the address of a status here. Right? Instead of weight, we can use weight PID also. And weight PID provides us more flexibility. We can specifically mention the child ID for which we want our process should wait. Okay? If a parent is having a number of child, then usually wait, wait for any of the child to terminate okay but if i want to make parent should wait for a specific child we should go for with pid although the functioning is same for both so let's execute the code now it is compiled successfully now I am executing parent process waiting for child to terminate child process is running then child process is exiting and this line has been printed by parent child process exited with status 0 ok so the very first line parent process waiting for child process and the last line child process exited with the status 0. These two lines has been printed by parent. Okay. And in between these three lines has been printed by child. Right. So if you remove that, if you remove that, let's say if you remove that weight, this ordering will not be fixed. This ordering may not be fixed. Right. So parent can also ex finish its execution before child because you are applying sleep of two second in child so in that duration parent will execute and finish right and your process will become orphan process so in next video i will elaborate how to generate the orphan process in this video let me open the code you just focus on the use of weight system call or weight pid system call okay so I will provide this code in the description window. I am closing this session. Thank you everyone. In next session we will discuss the generation of orphan process and zombie process. Thank you.